Thank you for having me. You do have the best stamp. Uh, Harry Styles just poured me a glass of champagne. It's, I know. It's incredible. It is incredible. It is. Liam Payne's going to give you a lift home later. It's just terrific. Oh, man. It really is amazing. Now, thanks for being here, guys. I couldn't wish for a more charming, handsome, and dare I say it, talented couch. Oh. Just two of our absolute favourites. I mean it. You're so great. Oh, thank now, you, man. Last night was obviously Halloween. Joel, put us out of our misery. I'm guessing sexy nurse. <laughs> <laughs> sexy nurse? Sexy something. Just sexy, sexy nurse? <laughs> yeah, no, sexy couch potato. I didn't, I didn't actually dress up at all. I was working. What were you doing? I was promoting the promoting movie. Promoting your incredible movie. So I was sort of dressed as me. I don't know if that's a Halloween costume. <laughs> that's really weird, cos I actually <laughs> went as you last night. <laughs> I was like, well, good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you, and Rami, you grew up in L.A. Um, were you in the Hollywood scene when you were younger? Cos you've always been exceptionally talented. Were you part uh, of that young, funky bunch? No, not at all. I didn't... I, I knew nothing about Hollywood as a kid. I lived in the San Fernando Valley. Right. And, you know, a little uh, enclave out it's just north of... Hollywood in Los Angeles. And for the longest time, I didn't even know that Hollywood was that accessible, that you could just get over the hill and see all this. I, I swear I was... Just pull a job. I was only in high school. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm here. Get yeah, a job. Exactly. You didn't know that it was I, just the other I side really of that even re yeah. hill? No, I mean, we... Ha <laughs> I really didn't. How sad is that? And the first time I went over, I thought, wow, this has been so close this whole time, but... <laughs> <laughs> I actually find that rather charming. So do I. I. Very so do I. Your parents I... lying to you. Uh, I guess they What's were. What's just... over the hill, Mum? Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Do not. <laughs> never, never go over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's actually awful. true. It's, it's actually, actually true. true. It's actually... There's a lot of predators yeah. there. there now, you, now, Joe, you live between... You're, so you live Sydney, Los Angeles. You're kind of always on an aeroplane. New York, L.A., yeah. Sydney, yeah. You must be a very, very good flyer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really good once I get on the plane. I actually have this sort of moment where I, I have a chat with myself and go, if this thing goes down, I'm good with that. The, the real anxiety is about getting to the airport on time and doing all that stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel when you're on the plane and other people looking at you going, oh, my God, that's Joel Legend? I don't know that that happens that much, except that one time I realised that I can't really fall asleep on a plane because mm. I sleep, like, I'm going to show you, I kind of go on a plane like that. <laughs> like, you could put a ping-pong ball in my right. mouth. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, or a, hopefully <laughs> a finger or an M&M. Um, and a guy... A guy tweeted that he saw me on a plane and that I was sleeping with my mouth open. And I thought, that's really... I mean, it's, Shut out, it's dude. true, it's a fact. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of cruel, I think. Yeah. yeah and then is... I realised why when I see... I saw this one rapper on a plane one day... And then he, he went to sleep and he put every piece of clothing he had over his <laughs> head. <laughs> face. Yeah. Who and was you, it? You, <laughs> you, could, <laughs> you could do that on a day. It is a weird thing if you do a particularly long-haul flight where you all get on and you're all safe in the knowledge that we're all going to fall asleep. Right. But then there's that moment where everyone wakes up and everyone you, so you end up just looking at someone going... <laughs> 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 I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I did know two people who, who broke an Ambien in half after having a chat, two strangers, and they shared it, and they woke up like <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> they woke up too. Did they? True story. Did they go home together no. after that? No. No, no, they didn't have any Ambiens left. <laughs>